with almost four Toyota Corolla, this vehicle has produced a severe misfire. A misfire can be listened and can be felt by the wiggling of the spark plug, spark plug coils, as you can see on the camera even. The coils are wiggling, the engine is also producing vibrations. So we are going to test it by the power balance test. So we are going to remove the first and you, we will listen for the cracking sound from. We are feeling the cracking sound, it's okay. For the second one, we are listening. Third one, we are feeling. Fourth one, there is a cracking sound, but engine is not responding. Means there is something wrong with the fourth cylinder. So we are going to test for the fuel injector. Here is the fuel injector I spent with a tester. I'm going to test this pulse. As you can see on the camera, I'm getting the pulse over here. It means the computer is commanding, but something is wrong with the fuel injector. It is not putting fuel in the engine. So that's why we are on three cylinders and we are getting a severe misfire on this engine. So we are going to remove the tablet cover and then we will remove all four uh, fuel injectors and we'll see for the possible problem. But first of all, what we can do is we can check it through multimeter. So we are going to stop the car and we'll check through the multimeter. So we are going to remove the fourth uh, solo fuel injector. We are going to test with ohm meter and we are getting the reading of 16.6 ohm. It seems a good reading. So for the comparison, we are going to remove number one, which is good, a known good. Here we are going to test. We are getting 17 ohm, 17.3 ohm. This is also a good reading. So if we, here is a 17.4 ohm and here is 6, 16 ohm, it means the reading for the ohm is good. But there can be a problem with a fuel injector that can be a sort of mechanical problem. If the fuel uh, injector is clogged mechanically, it is not squirting fuel, then we will face the same problem. As electrically we checked it, it's okay. So the, for the next step, we will go to remove the whole thing, the tablet cover, and then we will remove the fuel injector uh, for that and we will see the condition of the fuel injector. Here are the components from the engine. These are the spark plugs. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. Here are the fuel injectors, one, two, three, and four. These came from the engine. So what we were suspecting was the fuel injectors, as you can see, this is number two. This is number one, so I have to show you the number four one better. This is what the fuel injector came from, number 4 cylinder, not very good, as you can see, the tip not very clean, but this was squirting fuel, as I checked. So here, the purpose of this video is to show you that whatsoever we are suspecting, it's not a must that that will be. So we have to see each and every possibility to correct the problem. Here, if I will show you the spark plugs. This one is the first spark plug. Here is the spark plug. The second one. Third one. And number fourth. So number fourth, you can see. And if we will compare number one and number fourth, the upper one is number one, the lower one is number two, number four. Number four is very, very much bad. It's black. And I'm sure this will be the cause of problem. It will be what short circuited inside. We cannot check it. We cannot evaluate this short circuit by our multimeter or ohm meter whatsoever. But by performance, we can evaluate if we will change it with a new one or with a good one. The problem will be solved. So this will be what our check. But what we will do as we remove each and everything. So we have to make a service on these fuel injectors also. For the fuel injector service, there are too many ways. The very simple one which I am going to use is to clean them using the WD-40 and from the outer side and even in there we have to use this petrol, the solvent 
and by this brush I can do it people are doing on internet on their YouTube channels channels YouTube videos they are doing they are saying that you must not touch it over here or touch it over there by this and by that these are only only stories nothing is happening if we will touch it or we will, we will not touch it so what we are going to do is we are going to remove these o-rings better even the o-ring this one is not good this is broken you can see we will replace it with a new one another one good one so whatsoever are good we will reuse what are bad we will replace this one is also bad broken from inside so we will replace that also Fuel injectors have to clean clean them in my conventional cleaning setup using the petrol and the brush. I have to fill some quantity. Minimum the body of the injectors should must be cleaned properly then afterwards I will use the WD-40 on the tips because petrol will not do petrol is always flowing through these injectors they are not cleaning them but the body should be cleaned properly see this seems golden here this is golden it should be white if we will clean them by using cloth and WD-40 cleaner it will become white like this and then I have to use some cloth is not perfect white still golden but we will see we will soak it a little bit for a little time then we'll see what is happening with they were squirting fuel as i checked but if these are these are not cleaned the spray, spray pattern is not good so the spray pattern should also be good to make the performance to solve the performance issues the, the spray pattern must be good for this purpose they must be cleaned properly so what I am going to do is I am cleaning with a cloth I will soak them for a while so then after soaking it will be easy to remove the grime from so this is what the WD-40 is in here this is soaked for a little while going to clean using the same way by cloth not perfect white but close to white so it needs some time to soak we'll give a time stop video here and then we'll show you for this car we did fuel injection for this car we cleaned it 
I performed these two things, but the car has no result. The misfire is there, the hesitation is there. So further, what we will do, you have to give suggestions, you have to give your comments, and in the second part, I will show what we are going to do to repair this car and how to diagnose the misfire problem.